Hello fellow Unreal Engine artists, designers and developers and welcome to my continuing series on how to get the most out of my Simple Structures plugin, link in the description below. Today we're going to be talking about two different ways of dealing with tunnels. Okay, so we've got a room here and I want a tunnel to go underneath the room. So I have two options. I can either use the landscape deformer so that the landscape deforms underneath the room with a tunnel on it, or I can have a tunnel that goes through the landscape. So let me show you the first option where we deform the landscape with the tunnel. So what I'll do is I will go into landscape mode here and I will select my landscape deformer and just drag it onto the uh, element here and hit a quick refresh so that the spline points and selector are above the existing structure. So let's um, come out of landscape mode again, don't need to stay in that. And we need to set up some spline points for the landscape deformer and the tunnel. So I'm going to select the landscape deformer, select the spline point here and drag it out. And then the other side, I will drag it out an equal distance. And now what I want to do is create two new spline points for where I want it to go down into the ground. So holding the Alt key down, I'm going to drag spline point just before the, the um, room here. And then I will use Alt and drag another spline point on the other side of the room. So now we have four spline points here. And what I can start doing is using these to deform the landscape. So I'm selecting these and you can see what I'm doing is I'm starting at ground level on both sides and then I'm dragging down underneath the room. And I've deliberately put these spline points outside the room so that once I put the tunnel on here, it will snap to here rather than snap on top of the room. OK, let's add a tunnel now here. So if we go over to the landscape deformer and the structure type, I'm going to select tunnel and generate structure. And you see that we now have a tunnel that goes from ground level down and underneath. But at the moment, it's not deep enough. So we need to um, select our spline points for the uh, landscape and drag them down a bit more. So you can see I'm dragging these, selecting them, dragging them down until the tunnel has disappeared here. And so now I'm at a point where I can't see the top of the tunnel here and if I go into play mode I should now be able to follow my deformed landscape all the way underneath the room and out the other side. So all I need to do now from a level design point of view is do some set dressing. So I might want to add some rocks or other meshes just to cover up these curves here. I can also change the landscape uh, width as well, the deformation width, so I could bring it in a bit. So I can play around with that. But that's a general principle of how to create a tunnel where the landscape deforms. Now let's look at the second option of cutting through the landscape. So I'm starting off from the same point here, but this time I'm not going to use landscape deformation. I'm just going to drag a tunnel in and uh, put it underneath the landscape. So let's go into our tools and drag in a tunnel. And let's set it up in roughly the same way. So I will drag this last spline point out to this side and let's drag some new, using Alt, let's drag some new points either side of the window, sorry, the window, the room and drag them down. So at the moment you can see when I'm dragging them down, they're snapping to the surface. So let's switch off snap to surface on our tunnel and then we've got free reign to drag these down. OK, so I've done the same thing as before. So now we have a tunnel that starts at the ground level and goes underneath. Uh, the only issue is if I go into play mode, and I try and go into this tunnel, 
you can see that the landscape prevents me from going underneath the room. So what I need to do is I need to paint a hole into the landscape. And you can do that using the landscape visibility layer option. So to do that, go into landscape mode. And in your sculpt settings, you'll see there is this tool called visibility, which allows you to paint the uh, visibility or not of the landscape layer. You can see I've got a large brush size at the moment. If I click on here, you can see that it creates a large hole in the landscape here, but that's way too big. So let's use the shift key, which erases that visibility mask uh, so that you've got the landscape back. So what we need to do is make the, well, first of all, if you're clicking on the brush and you can't see the uh, invisibility here, that means you haven't set up your landscape material correctly to use that. So that's the first thing we need to check. So go to your landscape object in the level, find the material and browse to it. And what you need to look for is where your material attributes are set up. There is an attribute called um, opacity mask. This opacity mask, you need to plug in this node here, landscape visibility mask. So if you don't have that plugged into the opacity mask, the uh, the painting that you're doing on that visibility layer won't show. So make sure you get that set up first of all. And now let's reduce the size of this brush. I'm going to reduce it to pretty much the smallest I can. And um, now if I go in here and start painting, you can see there's the visibility layer. Now, it's quite a rough tool. It depends on your resolu the resolution of your landscape. But you can see here that I'm seeing some bleed through this um, either side of the tunnel. And to fix that, we just hold the shift key down and you can fill in any gaps there. Anyway, you get the idea about how to do it. And the other thing is what you can do is if you do see a little bit of um, uh, visibility here uh, that you want to hide because you see it cuts through to that side of the tunnel, you can just use, again, some rocks. So what I would tend to do is I would get the rough view I want, and then I would put some rocks or other props around on these uh, visibility bits here just to hide that up. So let's just go roughly either side. So I'm going to do the other side now here and paint that roughly. So that looks good. Um, so now we can go through a tunnel, but um, you've probably seen the problem straight away. If I go into play mode, while I can go into this tunnel and I can go underneath the landscape, there's nothing now protecting me from walking on the surface. So as soon as I go in here, I fall. So I need to have something underneath the tunnel to support me. So the, what I provided you as an example is a different mesh here. So if I select the tunnel and where we go to, if we go to the main mesh, I've got a, another mesh with a floor. So you can see here, this is a tunnel mesh with a floor layer on it. And now if I go into play mode, you can see there's my tunnel with a supporting floor. And I get to the other side and I'm out again. So all I need to do is clean up, oops, is to clean up the opacity mask here and paint it, uh, erase it, add some props just to hide things up. But that's how you drill through the landscape. And you can use that same technique if you have a hill in your landscape. If you look at the example over here in the showcase, you can see that I've got a landscape hill and I've used the same technique to drill holes in there. And you can see there's slight artifacts here where the hole has been painted, but I would probably paint those out and then, as I said, use some rocks on the outside to hide the holes. So that's the um, end of today's tutorial. Uh, stay subscribed for more hints and tips coming in the future. Bye for now.